What's going on? The Gaming Ram here, and today I have something special. So as you can see, we have two really, really legendary muscle cars, and as you can possibly, probably tell, these are some real beauties here. So today. We have two cars that we're gonna rebuild, and when we get done, these are gonna be some really, really cool drag cars that are going to be tearing up the track. And today we're gonna be putting down a lot of power, let me tell you. A Bolt Cape Supercharged in from the factory, she makes 517 horsepower, and we could definitely tell that this thing has definitely been sitting a while, and that it needs a lot of work and a lot of new parts. But here's the upside: I had bought two brand new, completely high horsepower engines to go into these two bad babies right here. And these things, these two engines, I have one engine for each car, and we also have two high performance transmissions to go inside of these things. So they're gonna be putting down some serious power by the time that they leave this garage. And these, these, I had, these engines has been done all the way through, inside and out, brand new parts all the way through it. You know, so she's gonna rip, and I'm guarantee you that she's gonna. There, these two cars are gonna be making at least 700 horsepower by the time that it's in there and get it all tuned up. They should be putting down some serious power. But anyway, enough of me talking. Let's dig into these cars. The first thing we have to do is we gotta disconnect the transmission and the exhaust. So let's raise this car up a little bit higher so we can go ahead and do that now. It's a really clean car, no rust on it at all. Look at that bumper. It's really in good condition. Um, it needs a little bit of uh, under underside work, but we can knock that out, no problem. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta take off the starter and then we're gonna disconnect the dry shaft so we can uh, let me see if I can see the dry shaft anyway. But we're gonna disable the dry shaft. Alright. So now get in position to take this transmission. We have a transmission already for it, and so that means that we do not need to worry about rebuilding it or anything like that. We had some guys hook us up with all the parts for this car, so the only thing we gotta do is just take this stuff apart and put it back in. But, before we do all of that, we're going to do the cross members because they are really, really bad. And if you're going to be having a high horsepower car that's going to be putting down at least 700 horsepower from a supercharger, from a dual carbureted engine, yeah, you need all of that as possible to be able to hold up because the last thing you want to do is have your car that. So, we definitely have a lot to do here on this car. So, we're going to start taking these wheels off so we can get to all of it. We have brand new everything like i say they hooked us up and we have this car should be rocking and rolling like better than brand new so we're gonna finish this up i see you guys later
rear is completely out of this car. This is nothing but the shell of the car right now. And base, so what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna be heading over here to this table and we're gonna try to see if we can repair as many parts as we can so that way we do not have to buy as many parts. We need a radiator, but I already have a radiator so it doesn't matter. Uh, see if we can savage some of these parts. All right, so we was we was able to uh, savage a lot of the most important parts, but the little parts here and there doesn't really matter because you know they're not that expensive. But we was able to get the uh, cross member finished up, so that is a upside because this thing is expensive. So we're gonna have to get some new rubber mounts. So let's go and get that now. So let's head over here and let's type in rubber. I completely spelled that wrong. We're gonna buy a lot of these because we're gonna need them. We're gonna get 20 of them. And we're gonna start putting all this stuff back together. Oh, not that one. We don't need that. That thing is completely not trustworthy at all. Um, but anyway, um, you might be wondering, where did I get this car from? Well, I picked this car up at the auction house and I paid I think if I can remember I think I paid about 26 or 20 somewhere between 26 27 28 thousand dollars for this car and so far it is completely worth every penny up all right so it's slowly coming together but we're gonna get it um, it's just gonna take a while. Alright, so we got our shocks. So, well, let's do this side first, and then we're gonna go over to that side and start on it. Um, the last thing we're gonna do is put on the wheels. And there you go, we got that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The rubber bushing we gotta put on here right there so let's put that on but <clears throat> this game does have hardcore mode so if you was to put assemble assemble the car or disassemble the car all of this highlighted stuff will not pop up I might give that a try and see how my memory will how I can re test out my memory and see how good I am of memorizing where all of this stuff goes because it's definitely is a lot but I've been when it comes to these types of cars I've worked on a lot so I know where almost everything is at or how everything goes or how the game wants you to do it um, so I might give that a shot and if you guys want to see that I would totally be down to do it all right, so we done figured out what tire fits under this baby. It is a 15, and this, it fits really nice under the wheel well. As you can see, we still have a little bit of space. I think in real life, it will probably rub out right there, but it fits under the car. It fits under the wheel well, so this is how it looks. So let's slap the other tire on this side. And for the moment of truth, this is how she looks. So let's lower it down. Did I put the starter on the car? I don't know. Let's look. 
Yes, I don't know if I put the start. Yeah, okay, it's on. Okay. So we do not have to jack this car up anymore. Uh, well, never mind, because we got to put the fuel tank back in and the exhaust. So we have the radiator, so let's put it in. And we're also going to need a new battery, so let's slap that in there as well. Okay. Let's do a battery. Yeah, that battery was gone. So let's go and get a battery. I forgot the other T. Let's just put BAT. There you go. Let's get another one because the other car are going to need one as well. Because these cars have been sitting for a very long time. Alright, so there you go. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. We got to put oil in the engine before I forget. Let's put oil in here. Because this engine came straight from the factory. Or I should say straight from the manufacturer and only they did was build it and send it out to us so we got a fuel tank for this car already so we're just gonna slap it in here put the fuel pump in it and we're gonna start getting our exhaust and now we're no 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 we're not getting just any exhaust we're gonna be getting a high performance exhaust system for this car so in it's going to be able to put out the power and handle the power that this car is going to be putting down to these rear tires right here so um so let's do the exhaust we need all of this i think now if i can remember i don't think you can get the um the front exhaust pipe in it but i'm gonna double check but i don't think you can get that in a high performance it is a front exhaust pipe v8 overhead v8 and it's a b class so i don't think they have the b yeah they, they do not have it it sucks but it's whatever it's no big deal but let's get the mufflers while we are here and let's get the Hmm, where's the rear, rear muffler, rear muffler, here it is, two of those, and I don't know if we need a, no, I don't think we do, um, oh yeah, we gotta get the front section of the muffler, so let's go and get that, so let's head over to exhaust, and we need overhead valve B, front exhaust pipe, alright, so let's put these two on, And let's do our middle mufflers. These add um, horsepower. It's a 1.65% horsepower increase, which every bit accounts on a car that likes that is like this. And this is why drag cars and drag racing and just racing in general is expensive because you're trying to squeeze out every little bit of horsepower that you possibly can, all the way down to aerodynamics to weight it's it, it's a lot when it comes to building these types of cars and it's a reason i'm probably not going to get into it anytime soon even though i would love to get into it but it's just too expensive to maintain these things and, and especially when it comes to drag racing where you you do a burnout every time you go to race and when you're doing a burnout every time you race that's tires that you gotta pay and I would give you I would say that these tires will probably cost you about a thousand dollars a piece or something close to that if I can give an estimate but anyway this car is basically it's about done I mean if we can look at our report I'm starting to lose my voice <coughs> Um, we gotta do the brake server. That's what I'm forgetting. There you go. And this thing is now done. And as you can see, it has came out absolutely, and I mean it, it came out absolutely incredible. But what we're gonna be doing 
well, let's go take it to the door so we can look at this, actually look at this car. Now, I do not own a, a paint shop, so if I need to replace any parts, I'm probably not going to do it because I cannot repaint the car. And I also cannot do body work because I don't have the uh, welder and stuff to do it, so basically it is what it is. But so, now that we got the thumbnail out of the way, we're going to be doing just a quick um, a test of the car just to see what it's capable of. So let's head to the racetrack. You know what? No, let's do the airport. Let's do the abandoned airport so we can test out the speed that this thing can do and just make sure that this stuff. And then we're going to come back and we're going to tune this car. All right, so... Here, we, here is the car. She is really healthy right now. Oh my god, this thing. All right, so let's get this car set up so that we can uh, we can do a straight, straight uh, go at the uh, track here. I don't know if you can do a burnout in this game. Yeah, I don't think you can. But here's the interior. It's not half bad. But anyway, let's. We're gonna do the interior first, and we're gonna see basically how fast we can get it to go. It is, is it this car? Okay, ugh. this game is in kilometers an hour, so we're gonna have to. I will put it on the screen. So let's go. Okay, so we did like 235 kilometers an hour, which that's pretty fast, actually. Um, so let's go outside of the car. We need this ring, this one. All right, let's go. Alright, that was 250, but my controller was messing up, and it was trying to go to the left and go to the right and all this, so that wasn't really as accurate as I want it to be, but this car looks so good, and I love the tire setup and the rim setup that I did on this car. It looks so clean. All right, uh, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's about 253 is where it basically taps out at its hit red line, or you know that's that's pretty that's 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 still too that's that's fast. It can do a donut. Alright, so we are back at the shop and what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to try to get this car tuned and make sure this thing is putting out all the power that it can possibly put out. Oh, hang on, do it. It's definitely faster. It is definitely faster. Oh god, fifth gear. Fifth gear is a little long, ain't it? 
Yeah, fifth gear is a lot longer, so basically the only thing we gotta do is shorten fifth gear and we I think this car would be really ready for the room. I think I think if we was to get fifth gear basically worked out, I'm pretty sure that we will be able to take this car to an actual race. But anyway, this is the only car that we're going to be able to do today. So this thing came out absolutely incredible. And I, for the price that I'm playing to you guys this whole entire video, this car was not picked up at an auction house. This car was actually bought from a barn find. So I got this car from a barn find and I think I paid up $21,000, $22,000 for this car, and this car has been super clean, and for a car that's been sitting in a barn, it has definitely came a long way, and especially from the power that it is now putting out, like, this thing looks really, really good, and... It drives good too, and the tire setup. You can't ask for a better car, that's for sure. It's a turn here, but you really can't ask for a better car from a barn find, and especially something that is this legendary as a a twin, not a twin, but a double carbureted supercharged car. You can't ask for anything better. But anyway, guys, I am the Gaming Ram, and I hope you enjoy this video. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.